prove my character's guilt. Hamlet's passionate desire for justice over his father's murder is fueled by the fact that my character has turned around and married Hamlet's mother, Gertrude. So Hamlet gets a group of actors to perform a play for the Danish Royal Court, which is a thinly disguised version of how my character, King Claudius, went about in killing King Hamlet. After having seen the play, King Claudius is quite shaken up. He retreats to a private chamber in the castle. At this point, Hamlet, King Claudius begins to suffer the incredible guilt for murdering his brother, King Hamlet. Reflecting on his horrible deed, King Claudius adjusts most of the falling monologue to heaven, but he cannot pray properly, which is another sin of his. King Claudius lacks genuine remorse. The scene takes place in the king's chamber at Elsinore Castle, Denmark. The room is dimly lit and quite sparsely decorated. And now, a monologue from Act 3, Scene 3 of Shakespeare's great tragedy, Hamlet. Oh, my offense is rank. It smells to heaven. It hath the primal elders go to upon to brother's murder. Break it not, though inclination be as sharp as will. My stronger guilt defeats my strong intent, and like a man is double visit. I stand at pause where I shall first begin, and both neglect. What of this? Curse him, think of the sudden foot. Do not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? Where to serve me? <coughs> And the corrupt occurrence of this world, and what is a prayer but this too full of force to be forestalled, there we come to fall, or pardon being down. Thou look up. My fault is past, but oh, what form of prayer will serve me? Forgive me, fault murder. That cannot be since I am still possessed of those effects, for which I do my crown, my own ambition, and my creed. May one be pardoned and retain the offense, and the corrupt occurrence of this world, offense is guilt. Hand may shove by justice, and often see what deprives itself by self the law. Now the action life proves no shock. And we ourselves compelled, even to the teeth and forehead. What then? What rights? Traveling. What can it not? There we cannot when one cannot repent. O wretched state, O Boston, the blackest state, O lion's soul struggling to be free. Help me out. Make us bow to serve knees, and help us strengthen the skin. Be as soft as you need, and born babe, of the 